We're doing German sausage piled high with onions and bells, peppers, and sauerkraut, and it's a holiday favorite in Germany. We start with lighting our charcoal. Just eat. And if you're interested in learning other ways to light charcoal without charcoal fluid, I'll put a link to a video that I did right up here. For this cook, we're using the Vortex. That's this right here, link below. Gonna add our charcoal in there, put our grate over, and put a lid on it. Let this thing warm up so we can clean the grate. With the Weber kettle hanging around 400 degrees, I think it's time to clean off the grill. For this recipe, we've got a green bell pepper, take it and we don't want these minced up we just want them cut up like this and one onion We just want it cut up like this as well. Amazing. We scoop them up and put them in our pan. Next thing we want to add, one Bud Light. Just pour it in. This is, um, a big one. We're using Al's German Sausages for this, a local company here in Idaho. Some of the best sausages I've ever had. We're gonna put these sausages directly over the vortex and they're gonna cook in no time flat. You wanna know the secret to a good sausage? Don't burn them. Look at those grill marks. We're just going to put these off to the side. That's what I'm talking about right there. Then we're going to put them back in. Give these things about a 45 minutes or so to just cook away, finish up inside of the beer and the onions and the bell peppers. No German sausage is complete without sauerkraut. So we're going to throw it in with the sausage the onions, and the bell peppers. Let's do it. Just dump it in like so. Come on. Give it a quick stir. With our sausages almost done, we're just gonna take this bun, and it's just a hoagie bun, right? Hoagie sourdough. Open it up, and let's start adding our goodies. All right, we start with a German sausage. Lay it right down like that. Got some sauerkraut, onion. Oh, heck yeah. I don't know if you can see this or not from all the steam coming off. But there is peppers in here. And there's onion and some kraut. So here's the deal. What kind of mustard do we do? We do brown, yellow, horseradish. I'm a horseradish fan. Let's put it on. All three of these would be good as long along with any other kind. All right, guys, this thing is just like crazy falling apart. And it just, this, the aroma in here is amazing. So as I promised earlier, you know what, I'm gonna eat first and then I'll give you my, my memory. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is really good. You know, that is really good. Let's try it with a beer. And it does go well with a beer. And here's the cool thing. If you were to just take one of these sausages, you know, kind of pour some kraut on it with our bell peppers and onions, You'd have yourself a fairly keto dish. I think you could you could get away with it, absolutely. You saw how we made it, the recipe's down below. Thanks everybody for watching.
I love you guys, and we will talk to you on the next episode. Stay tuned because I'm going to tell you why these things are a tradition at the holidays. So in Germany, when they had an agrarian society and they raised a lot of schwein or pigs and a lot of cabbage, and anything in like Central Europe, Southern, even Northern, Southern Europe, you know, Austria, Northern Tyrell region of Italy. When you had uh, the new, when the holidays came up, they celebrated and one of the things they celebrated with is what they had plenty of and that was both pig and cabbage and that's where the idea of german sausage and sauerkraut come together for the holidays and it was just a, a thing of good luck and here we go for the for the new year let's do it when i was a kid there was an old man who lived down the road from where we lived in prosser washington his name was chris Noltensmeyer, and he was born in 1891 in the empire of germany he immigrated to the United States, I believe, in the 30s. I'm not sure if he was Jewish or what the reason was, but he did immigrate. And towards the latter end of his life, we would go down to his house on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And you would, in his basement, you would have just a spread of German sausage and sauerkraut and all these different kinds of mustard. So let's granted, mustard is kind of a German thing, right? So you had all these different mustards and onions and bell peppers and all sorts of other things. And I did not like sauerkraut when I was a kid. So I would go like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, little this, little that. But I just always loved going there. Unfortunately, Chris passed away in 1980. But I hope I keep the tradition alive with this. So Chris Noltensmeyer, this is for you, my friend. I hope wherever you are, you're happy. Guys, Happy New Year's, and you know, I love you, peace, and uh, we'll see you in the New Year's, and I hope you like, kind of like the new way I'm, I'm doing my videos, because I think that's kind of how I want to do it in the future. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Mm. Fantastic. Oh, my God.